What's going on guys, Switchbrew here and today I'm going to be showing you how to dump your product keys from your Nintendo Switch console. Now this is something that I've done ever since SXOS was a thing, so what I'm going to do is show you how to do this. So there's two files that you can download, you've got the lockpick underscore rcm dot bin and you've got a lockpick nro file. Now I believe I'm right in saying that with the lock pick nro file this only works on the unpatched consoles i've tried this on my nintendo switch oled and when trying to launch it through the homebrew menu if i run it in non full memory mode i get an error and it crashes atmosphere and then if i try run it in full memory mode it just says that the application cannot be started so for the nintendo switch oled and probably the mariko or better battery life consoles and the switch light you're probably going to need to use the .bin file so what you'll need to do guys is you'll need to plug your sd card into your computer or connect up your nintendo switch to the computer and what you want to do is go ahead and go to your memory card so i'm going to do this now so because i'm not using the lockpick nro file because as i said earlier it doesn't seem to work for me i'm going to pop this to the side but if you was going to use that and you've got a v1 console for example you just want to drag that into your switch folder so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to head over to my bootloader folder i'm going to head over to payloads and i'm going to drag the lockpick underscore rcm dot bin into the following folder once that's done guys that is pretty much installed to your nintendo switch console so what you want to do is go ahead and eject your memory card once you've done that what you want to do is plug in the memory card to your nintendo switch console i'm obviously going to boot into hecate and boot the lockpick rcm via payloads but if you've installed the nr nro file sorry guys what you want to do is head over to the homebrew menu and launch it from there so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to transfer it over onto the switch console now and show you guys what to do so guys once you're over at your nintendo switch console what you want to do is go ahead and go to payloads and click on lockpick rcm as you can see it's now loaded so if i flip this screen around for you guys so you can see what i'm doing so in this, the volume up and volume down button is your navigation buttons and the power button is the select button. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the power button on dump file from Sysnand. And as you can see now, that is now done. It says press volume up to save a screenshot or another button to return to the menu. So I'm just going to click volume down. And as you can see, it's returned to the main menu. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and scroll down to power off. And I'm going to click on the power button. And as you can see, it's now shut down my switch. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is plug the SD card back into the computer and show you what to do from there. So once you've dumped the keys, guys, and you're back on your computer, what you want to do is go ahead and open your SD card. Now, as you can see, I've lost a lot of stuff on my SD card. So from when I did the video earlier, when I was copying lockpick across to then going to dump my keys, when I pulled the memory card out of the computer, for some reason, I lost everything. And it asked me that it asked me to reformat my micro sd card so i've now got to set everything back up on my switch but anyway what you want to do once you're here guys is you want to go to the switch folder and as you can see it's dumped the product keys and the title keys so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and copy those two files to my desktop and that is the product keys and the title keys for your specific console so what you want to do guys is put them somewhere safe i'm going to be doing another tutorial shortly on how to set up um forwarders so i need these well i need the product keys file for this so yeah guys thanks for watching the video see you in the next one peace